Hello YouTube, I'm Windraiser, and today I'm coming to you with another, another Transformers Titans Return review. Today I'm going to be looking at Transformers Titans Return. God, that's a mouthful. Quake. Now, Quake is a repaint of Hardhead. Um, I don't have my Hardhead out right now. He's in uh, one of his little storage drawers. <laughs> but he's basically the same H-Tank. Instead of being all green and whatnot, he is some dark gun... Some dark shades of gray with a dark um, I guess that would be like a midnight blue and a dark maroon with a clear blue cockpit so I'll give you a size comparison next to his tank brethren here he is with Blitzwing here he is with Megatron And here he is with Six Shot. Now Six Shot has him beat in both length, girth, and height. And I love my Six Shot. <laughs> um, now his Type Master is known as Chasm, which is the same as Hardheads. He's just gray and blue with a different faceplate. And I do like it very much. So to go ahead and transform him, I'm going to do is remove this gun. Move this gun up. Un come under here. And we'll fold this up. And we'll take these calf, uh, these muscles, these bits here, and unpeg them from a peg that's right in here. Which sits right there. And that way we can un straighten up the legs. Flip out his little toes. Right, flip them up. Unpeg the front treads. Take the waist. Flip it all the way forward. Take this section down. Flip it down. And then this peg right here, right where my finger's pointing, is going to peg into his butt. It'll hold everything in place. So sadly, he has no waist rotation, just like Hardhead. Go ahead and straighten out the gun. Straighten out the arms. Flip out his fists. Straighten out this arm. Flip out this fist. And now we can take Chasm and plug him in. There we go. And there you have Quake in robot mode. Now I do love Quake's robot mode. It is gorgeous. In this mode, here you see you'll see uh, more black and some more of that um, midnight blue which fills out some of his um, waist section and torso a bit. Some more black on the sides of his legs. Uh, the treads are done in gray, so now his calves are gray. But, or his, his shins and then his calves are maroon. And then he has these cool little Decepticon slash lightning bolt insignias on either side of his shoulder, so I like that. Posability is just like hard head, full 360 rotation on the head with ball joint. There's a ball joint in the shoulder with a pin for moving up and down. There is a, there is, well, this is the elbow joint, and then there's a swivel just above that. Uh, wrists do swivel very tightly on my copy. Hips on a ball joint. There's a swivel just below that, and mm, almost. I said it. Mm. Yeah, let me do it with the one without the cannon. But yeah, about a 90 degree bend of the knee, and toes just move down. And on my copy of him, his toes actually stay in place, unlike my hard head. <coughs> In this mode, he can hold the gun. Like so. 
and you can bring the cannon up and over onto his shoulder. Um, it's just with Chasm's head, uh, it gets in the way of the cannon, so I kind of have to like, yeah, his head gets really awkward, so it has to sit like that. I guess between him, Chasm, and Hardhead's height master, Chasm's a little wider. So, uh, size comparison against a robot. Here he is next to Age of Extinction Drift. And about the same size. Just quakes a little head taller. So there you guys have it. I picked him up at my local Walgreens. And the prices for these guys at Walgreens is ridiculous. So if you want to know more info about Quake, I will put a link down in the description below of his bio. And I'm this is Quake. We'll see you on the next review.